mechanical keyboards provide a much more enjoyable typing experience as well as ton of customization in look and feel and they are more durable. For anyone who spends all day typing, programming or gaming, it can be extra satisfying to customize every detail of their keyboard. In today's video I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the newest Royal Clutch RK96 Limited Edition, a premium mechanical keyboard. Many of you certainly heard of Royal Clutch as it became one of the mainstream brands for many gamers and budget conscious enthusiasts, including myself. The Limited Edition I'm going to show you today comes in two attractive color options, Forest Blue and Cape Green, and what differs these two from the standard RK96? Both versions coming with pre-loved RK yellow linear switches, which giving the keyboard heavier but smooth tactile feeling comparing to the standard version. Ideal for rapid fire key presses and fast paced gaming. In other words, it's silent but deadly. Hi, what's up guys? My name is Adam and you're watching Family Pop TV YouTube channel. First, let's open the box and see what's inside. Here we got the keyboard itself, it's as heavy as the standard RK96, thanks to its big 3750mAh battery. In the top compartment of the box we can find 70 inch USB Type-A to Type-C cable, a keycap and a switch puller, 4 replacement switches and a magnetic wrist rest. This 96 key keyboard shaves a full 3 inches of the width of the standard 104 key design by omitting a few navigation keys and it's very comfortable for touch typing, so let's check how it holds up in real world use. The RK96 offers 3 connection options including USB, Bluetooth and radio control 2.4 GHz dongle, exactly like RK84 keyboards I showed you in one of our previous videos. The keyboard has a full numeric keypad, but it's about 3 inches smaller than a typical 104 keys keyboard. The space between the alphanumeric keys and the keypad is gone and some function keys above the cursors are removed too. The keyboard measures 14.7 inches wide, 4.6 inches deep and is 1 inch tall. The end result is a keyboard that still feels as comfortable as a 104 keys keyboard but safe space on the smaller desks. Above the keypad you'll find a volume roller and a mute button, I like that. The function keys double as media control keys in conjunction with the function key. On the underside of the RK96 we got 4 rubber feet, an on off switch, the Bluetooth and 2.4GHz wireless toggle and a wireless dongle in its dedicated slot. We also get in the magnetic wrist rest with a keyboard. It magnetically attaches to the bottom edge of the keyboard and the magnet is strong enough that it won't move while you're typing, but not so strong that it will stay in place if you pick up the keyboard. It basically turns this keyboard into an ergonomic mechanical keyboard. Using this wrist rest is up to your personal preference. The rear feet pop out to change the height of the keyboard and we got two options to elevate the keyboard here. On the rear there's a single USB-C port which can be used for charging the internal battery and for wired connections and two USB-A 2.0 pass-through ports for wired connections, for example the wired mouse, USB sticks etc etc. To use the pass-through connection the keyboard has to be in the wired mode, the pass-through won't work in Bluetooth or RC mode. I'll test the connectivity of both keyboards in a minute. And before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. Both of these limited edition models having RK branded pre-loved yellow linear switches. These yellow switches are recommended for those who feel the red switch too light, too soft and need a slightly stronger feedback. Because the yellow switch is smooth and the actuation force is 50 grams which is only 10 grams more than the red switch. Additionally, these RK yellow switches are factory pre-loved, effectively the tactile feeling is much more smooth than in any other switches. The RK yellow pre-loved mechanical switches having an ultra fast actuation of only 1.2mm which allows you to press keys multiple times as fast as possible. Silent but deadly. This is best for rapid fire key presses and fast paced gaming. 
It's also an awesome typing experience. The board makes a pleasantly soft sound with almost no metal ping, and there's no rattle thanks to the two layers of EVA silencer foams. It's exactly the same construction as we've seen in RK84 Limited Edition, which we've seen not long ago in one of our previous videos. The RK96 is built for customization. With the included keycap puller tool, you might swap the switches to a different type. If you're unfamiliar with the switch types, the blue, red or brown coming down to personal preference. So if you like the classic clicky sound and feel, you'll like the blue mechanical switches. If the speed is your consideration, you should stick to linear red switches or yellow switches. And for the mix of both, go with brown. Simple. So all the switches are hard swappable, the keycaps are ABS double shot designs with cross pattern connectors on the neat. The switches are plate mounted 3 pin designs and the printed circuit board also support 5 pin switches. Swapping keys and switches is very easy, making this an inexpensive easy to work with base model for customizing. You can easily order new keycaps and switches and drop them right into the keyboard. Mix and match switch types and keycaps. The function key giving you access to the additional features of the keyboard. For example, the backlight configuration can be changed using the FN button combined with the print screen button. It basically cycles through the 20 different backlighting modes. These can be set to lit in RGB or in a single color. By pressing the FN and delete key, this is up to your personal preference. Pressing the FN key and the up down arrows raises and lowers the brightness. FN left and right changes the backlight animation speed. With the function key, the F keys double as a shortcut for mail and calculator or built in media keys. I use both PC and Mac and I can switch the layout over to make the keyboard more compatible. To switch the layout to Mac, press FN and S. To change it back to the PC mode, press FN and A. Now let's test the connectivity. First up, testing the keyboard in wired mode. All this requires is hooking the keyboard up with included USB-C to USB-A cable. There's no software required to plug it, as Windows and Mac OS detecting the keyboard automatically. A wired connection enables the keyboard's two USB-A ports, which are located at the top left. I was able to use these to connect a USB flash drive, a mouse or the USB mouse transmitter. The first wireless mode with the 2.4 GHz dongle is OK. Initial testing was done on my desktop PC. I found the keyboard worked fine within a range of 4 to 5 feet of the dongle, no missing keystrokes and the connection was very stable. Please note, the radio control connection is slightly faster than the Bluetooth connection. Right, for the Bluetooth connection you'll have to switch it at the underside. You can pair the keyboard with up to 3 devices, each accessed via the function key in combination with Q, W and E. Long pressing this combination puts the keyboard into pairing mode. I tried this with the iPad Air, all works smooth, no missing keystroke, no signs of latency. It will work the same way with any iPad and any iPhone. Now let's plug my Android phone. I'll press the function and Bluetooth too, so I'll be able to switch between the iPad and Android anytime. The keyboard's being recognized straight away and I even tried the racing game and the game automatically detected that the keyboard is being connected with the phone and even shows the keys combination required to access the full control within the game. This is bringing the Android gaming on the whole new level. It also works fine with the Android tablets, the keyboard is being recognized straight away. You can pair the RK96 with up to 3 Bluetooth devices, both Bluetooth 3.0 and 5.0 standards are supported. Right, now let's plug an iMac via Bluetooth. Again, the Bluetooth connection is being picked almost immediately and is very stable. The PC window key serves as an Apple command key. Other than that, no issues, no missing keystrokes, the volume roller does the job, all works like a charm with the iMac. By the way, I found that the keyboard was accurate even a good 14 to 16 feet away from my testing device. Personally, I would prefer the Bluetooth connection over the wired or 2.4 GHz dongle, especially when connecting with iMac, as by default it hasn't got the USB-A port to plug the USB dongle. 
responsiveness is excellent and as you would expect latency was undetectable in wired mode. I also didn't notice any latency when playing games in 2.4GHz or Bluetooth mode. Competitive gamers might want to opt for the wired connection, but I couldn't detect any lag with any of the connections, so I can't argue with the superb responsiveness of the RK96 yellow switches for playing action games. This keyboard works entirely without software, but the RK keyboard programming app is downloadable from the Royal Clutch website and is compatible with PC computers only. Once you figure out the user interface, it's reasonably powerful, allowing to reprogram all the key assignments and record the macros. The software also lets you choose between about 30 lightning and effects modes and program your own as well. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the RK96 Limited Edition has a big 3750mAh battery. Royal Clutch rates the battery life at about 200 hours in 2.4GHz mode with the backlight off, and a full charge takes around 5-7 to seven hours. With the full charge, I ran the RK96 in Bluetooth mode only, but low brightness backlighting for over a week without the battery dropping to zero. This workhorse will survive a long time. By the way, the battery indication can be triggered by hitting the function key with the enter key, and that's the quickest way to check if there's any juice left. Keep in mind, the charging of the battery in the keyboard can be done only in a wired mode. Overall, the Royal Clutch RK96 Limited Edition is a winner. For less than $90 US, I think this keyboard makes an interesting option. The keyboard feels solid, the switches sound and feel nice, and the Bluetooth is a huge plus. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it pretty informative and useful. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed so you won't miss when the next video comes out. Thanks everyone, that was Adam and you watched Family Talk TV.